Hello everyone. In this video, we will be dividing scientific notation. Before we go over these examples we have here, let's establish the basic rule in dividing numbers in scientific notation. We remember that the basic rule in dividing numbers in scientific notation is that we're supposed to divide the coefficients and subtract the exponents. So in this general scientific notation that we have right here, we are supposed to divide their coefficients. So this C and D shall be divided together. So I'm just going to go ahead and write divide for that. And this exponent m and n shall be subtracted together. So this m and n will be subtracted. This means that we can go ahead and write the quotient of this to um, scientific notation right here as c over d times 10 to the power m minus n. So again, we divided the coefficients and we subtracted their exponents. So this is the general rule in dividing numbers in scientific notation. Okay, now let's use the established rule for dividing numbers in scientific notation in the examples that we have here. Let's take this first example right here. So the basic rule in dividing scientific notation is that we're supposed to divide the coefficients and we're supposed to subtract their exponents. So in this case right here, we're supposed to divide 8 and 2. So that is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and write 4 um, down here. And then that is times 10 to the power, their exponents, this 5 and 3 shall be subtracted together. So that is 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is the quotient of this expression that we have up there. So that is equal to 4 times 10 to the power 2. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the basic rule in dividing scientific notation is that we're supposed to divide the coefficient and subtract their exponents. So that comes out um, 3 divided by 6. So that would be divided together. So 3 divided by 6 is 0 0.5. So I'm just going to write that down here. That is times 10 to the power. Their exponents shall be sub uh, subtracted together. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So I'm going to write the exponent here, negative 3, because again, that was 4 minus 7 is negative 3. Notice that the coefficient that we have here is not in standard form because this is less than 1. You remember that when the coefficient of the scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponent. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponent. So in this case right here, since this is less than 1, we can move the decimal point to the right one time, and that gives us 5, and that is actually more than or that is greater than 1, but less than 9.999, so that is already in standard form. Since we moved this decimal point to the right, we are supposed to subtract, and there's one place, so I go ahead and subtract 1 to the exponent as well. So our answer for this would come out 5 because the exponent was already after the 5, times 10 to the power, um, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. This is the answer to this expression that we have up there. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah! Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So we are given this expression right here. Again, the basic rule in dividing scientific notation is that we're supposed to divide their coefficients and subtract their exponents. So this 2 and 8 shall be divided together. So that is 2 divided by 8, and that gives us 0 0.25. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here, 0 0.25 times 10 to the power. Again, their exponents shall be subtracted um, together. So that is negative 3 minus 
four. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that down here so that is negative three minus four. So then we can simplify this as 0 0.25 times 10 to the power negative seven. Now notice again that the um, coefficient that we have here is not in standard form because this is less than one. The rule is that it has to be between one through 9.9999 and it repeats, but this is less than one. So we can actually move this decimal point to the right one time. So we remember that when the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponent. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponent. Since I moved it to the right, that means I am going to subtract that's only one um, place, one move right there between two and five, so I minus one. I do the same thing to the exponent, so that is minus one as well to make him even. So then we can go ahead and say that the final answer for this would be 2.5, because the dot was already moved in between two and five, times 10 to the power, negative seven minus one is negative eight. So this is the quotient of this um, expression that we have up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the basic rule in dividing scientific notation is that we're supposed to divide the coefficient and subtract their exponents. So 7.5 divided by 2.5, the answer to that is three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write three down here. That is times 10 to the power. Their exponents shall be subtracted. So that is two minus negative three. So I'm just gonna write that down here. So two minus negative three. So this comes out three times 10 to the power, two minus negative three. We can actually, um, I actually use this um, rule right here so my students won't uh, forget. We are going to boom and boom. So boom, boom. So we add them so that we go ahead and say that that is actually equal to five. So this is the um, answer to this expression that we have up there. That is three times 10 to the power of five. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.